Big Lou, no fly zone Ricans tapping in. Uh, I'd like to say a uh, salute to all our soldiers, past and present, and especially those that didn't make it back. Special prayers go out to them and their families. So, uh, as y'all know, four or five days ago was uh, the unification for the undisputed crown at 135 in Australia, um, home turf of George Camboso Jr., who not too long ago beat Teofimo Lopez in Brooklyn, or excuse me, Madison Square Garden, to take his belts that he had, his three belts. He had, uh, I believe, the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO ring magazine strap, and also the lineal title that he took from Lomachenko. So Lopez took it from Lomachenko, Camboso took it from Lopez. Now, fast forward to June, I think it was June 4th, in Australia, home of Cambosas, Camboso, excuse me, uh, in uh, um, uh, Marvel, Marvel, I believe it was Marvel Stadium, Marvel Stadium uh, in Australia. So you have, um, excuse me, you have Cambosos at uh, at the time it was 20 and 0 with 16 with 10 knockouts, uh, 20 uh, 28 years old, holding like I said the WBA, WBO, IBF ring magazine title and the lineal title at 135, which is lightweight. Going up against Devin Haney out of the Bay Area, California, but now residing in Las Vegas and he had the WBC strap. So whoever won this fight was going to hold all the belts at that weight class and be undisputed king at 135. Now you might say, well, what about Tank Davis? He's got a belt. True. Tank Davis has a belt. Like I brought up before, it's the WBA regular and Camboso's got the WBA Super. It gets a little confusing. The WBA has two belts, the WBA Super, the WBA regular. WBC has a WBC franchise and the WBC belt. And then you also have interim titles. So if a guy takes a little bit of time off or he goes up and wait to fight somebody else, somebody else could be crowned as interim WBA, WBC. You know, it's all, it gets confusing. Um, especially when it comes to the mandatories and all that. If you have the franchise bill, that's something you don't have to fight the mandatory. I forgot how they go. go. So anyways, they went to the, the distance and uh, Haney won unanimous decision. So that means all three judges uh, scored it. And Haney's, and Haney's, uh, uh, in Haney's favor, one judge, two judges, 116-112, and one judge, 118-110. And a lot of people, I didn't get to watch it all, I seen highlights, but um, David Haney definitely was uh, giving him a boxing clinic. A lot of people were complaining, saying he was doing the, uh, the Mayweather jab-jab run. Ah, could be, man, but you know what? Just like Steph Curry changed the game with the three-pointers, so many guys do it now, even big men. Same thing goes for boxing. Mayweather changed the game. It's get hit, hit less, make as much money as you can. And he's got a point because so many guys in their older age, mid 40s, late 40s, and 50s, and even older, their 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 faculties are gone. They're, they're you know Terry Norris, Donald Curry, you know even Holyfield and Hearns. You can see it in them since they speak. So it is what it is. So he defeated him at 135. So now Devin Haney has the WBC, the WBA, the WBO, the IBF. The ring magazine title has five belts, and the lineal is just a name only. And the lineal means the man that beat the man. So Camboso beat Lopez, who beat Lomachenko. So that's how that goes. And then uh, here's the ring magazine rankings at 135. So you got the champion, undisputed king at 135, Devin Haney. He's 28 and old with 15 knockouts, and he's 23 years old. Uh, ranked first is Camboso Jr. from Australia, 21 and 1, 10 knockouts. He's 28 years old. Teofimo Lopez is ranked second at 16 and 1 with 12 knockouts. And he's 24 years old. Vasilio Lomachenko from Ukraine, he's 16 and 2 with 11 knockouts. He's 34 years old. Ranked fourth, Tank Davis, 27 and 0 with 25 knockouts. He's 27 years old. Ryan Garcia is from the United States as well as Tank Davis. He's 22 and 0 with 18 knockouts and he's 23 years old. Isaac Cruz from Mexico is 23, 2 and 1 with 16 knockouts. He's 24 years old. Jojo Diaz from the U.S. is 32, 2 and 1, 15 knockouts. He's 29 years old. And round out that list is Richard Comey or Comey from Ghana. He's 34 and 4 with 27 knockouts. 
and he's 35. So that whole list, everybody's in their 20s except for two guys. And um, I've been noticing, I don't know if you know if you guys will agree with me, there's a few guys that are really into boxing, Cuban B, Coach215, um, Tim Egan, I don't know if Tim Egan is subscribed to this little channel, but there's a few guys that are really into boxing, and I don't know if you guys agree with me, but a lot of these guys, like, for example, Lomachenko, he's 16-2, and two. he had 18 pro fights, but I believe he was already champion, like, in his 10th fight, 9th fight. I know he has a big history, uh, a, a large history of um, amateur fights, that's for sure. I think he had, like, three or 400 amateur fights, and he did a lot of the um, uh, competition dancing, I think it was, that his father had him in. Uh, and he did a lot of that stuff first, plus he went to the Olympics, I believe, as well. Uh, but all these guys, a lot of these guys are getting titles at real young, man. They don't even have that many fights, and they're already champions. So Devin Haney has 28 fights. That's a decent amount. Cambosos on his, so his, Cambosos is 21-1. and one. That's 22 fights. On his 21st fight, he became champion. That's still not too bad. But uh, Lopez, 17 fights. Two fights back, he's a champion. And he got the IBF pretty early. I think he got the IBF like in his 14th or 15th fight. Tank Davis has 27 fights. That's a decent amount. Ryan Garcia, 22 and 0. That's now he's starting to get, you know, that's starting to be where it's about at. Isaac Cruz, 26 fights. Jojo Diaz, 32, 2 and 1. That's in, that's 35 fights. And Kami, 35, 34 fights. So a lot of these guys are really young. Um, so let me know if you agree with the scoring of that bout. Did you believe that Haney won? Um, and also give me your your take on the. Do you agree with this uh, lightweight rankings at 135 by Ring Magazine? And also, what do you think's next? Do uh, you think it's going to be Tank Davis and um, Haney? And Tank wins that and then steps up to 140, or you think maybe Tank just steps up now at 140? Um, and then also yesterday, the seventh. In Japan was uh I don't even know how to pronounce his first name. Naoya I Naoya Inoi versus Nonito Denaire, which was the second their second fight. The first fight was in 2019, which went to the distance and uh I know he won. This time he I mean he beat Donaire pretty bad, knocked him out in the second round. Keep in mind Donaire is almost forty years old in a few more months. Um and he was champion again. Um, so, you know he has, now he's, now going into the fight, he's the WBA, IBF, Ring Magazine, and Lineal Champ. I believe he was Lineal Champ, that part I'm not really sure. And he went up, he was 22-0 and 0 with 19 knockouts. Going up against Nonito Denaire, uh, who was the WBC Champ, and he was 42-6 and 6 with, 28, with 28 knockouts. And like I said, it only lasted uh, two rounds. And uh, you know he won, taking up his record at 23 and 0 with 20 knockouts. He's 29 years old. He's a three division world champion, and he's he's accomplished uh, getting five world titles. And uh, he's currently, like I mentioned, the bantamweight, WBC, WBA, IBF, ring, and lineal champ. The only belt he needs now is the WBO to be uh, undisputed at the bantamweight. Uh, he held previously the WBO Junior Bantamweight Champ, and he had also his first title was the WBC Light Flyweight. Um, he's a tough kid, man. He's a real tough kid. A lot of people like him. Um, I even heard over the, the last uh, overnight that on different boxing channels that a lot of guys haven't cracked at the, their pound for pound list. Now, one guy said he has a pound for pound list one through twenty, so I don't know if he cracked that one through twenty list. Or if we crack uh, top 10 for him, because I didn't get to catch the list. And then Don Nonito Donaire, even though he lost, man, this dude's a legend. He's a Hall of Famer to be. Um, he, his record now is 42-7 and seven with 28 knockouts. He's going to be 40 in November. Like I said, he was the champion as of yesterday morning until he got beat, knocked out. He's a four-division champ, and he's held nine world titles. He's only one of six boxers to hold titles in consecutive decades in the 2000s, the 2010s, and the 2020s. And he joined Holyfield, Bernard Hopkins, Manny Pacquiao, Eric Morales, and Money Mayweather. And Donito Nanera is only one of a few Asian boxers to win world titles in at least four weight divisions, along with fellow Filipinos Pacquiao, who has eight, and Donnie Nietes. Um, so, you know, Nanera is definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. And Denaire, I was going for because he's from this area where I'm from. So, 
you know, I keep it home, you know, not so much hometown, but home area. Because all these Bay Area cities are all within, you know, 20, 30 minutes from each other. You know, East Bay, which is Oakland, Hayward, Decolo, Union City, Fremont, Newark, from Oakland, from, and then San Francisco. You know, San Jose, South Bay, Vallejo, North Bay. So it's all pretty close. And so, yeah, so anybody give me the feedback on that. I know there really ain't too much feedback on this one because uh, I know he went in there and handled the business. If I'm saying his name right. He went right in there and he gave it to Nonito, and you can tell the the, the three years how it's showed on him. This guy's dangerous. It's not a kind of guy boxer you can go in there playing with. Like Nonito, yeah, he's a champion. He was able to beat somebody for another belt, but this guy's like on another level. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's a beast. I could see him going up another probably two, three divisions before he's done. You know, maybe being in the next guy since De La Hoya that wins six six divisions. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? But for sure, he can, he can go another one or two. Four or five divisions, easy. I can't see an issue with that. Because most of the divisions are like, you know, five to seven pounds difference. You know what I mean? So, anyways, and then, uh, that being said, tonight, in about, I don't know, I think about an hour, I think the game's at either at five or six. Game three, NBA 2022 NBA Finals. Game three in Boston tonight. It's 1-1 right now with the Warriors. And the Warriors look awesome in the last game. And even the game before that, they just had one bad quarter. But you know what? That's all that mattered. That one bad quarter. And they got whooped bad in that quarter to lose by 12 points. I think it was 121-08. So uh, it is what it is. But I'm always going to be with my team. My team's the Warriors. Everybody knows that. I'll never switch that. I've got to go for my team. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, yeah, I don't think we're going to win this game. Maybe the next one. Nah, I don't work that way with me. You guys know I am Warriors, Raiders, and A's. And uh, with that being said, uh, catch us uh, No Fly Zone Weekends with my brothers Nelson and Carlos. We will be on at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So that would be 9 Eastern. Okay? And then if you're in Texas or any of those places, do the math. An hour difference from that. So it would be 8 o'clock in Texas. In Chicago and all those other places. So with that being said, thanks for listening. I'm going to upload this video right now. Go Warriors. Bring that title back to the Bay Area. That Larry O'Brien title. And uh, give me, if you guys want to give me input about the best, about the NBA the game. Or if you want to give me input about the boxing, it's up to you guys. Either way. Alright, with that being said, like always, much respect and honor to our vets. Past and present. And those that didn't make it home, big, 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 huge shout out to them and their families for giving the ultimate sacrifice. All right, Big Lou, tapping out. No fly zone.